This seven-night Ozamazing itinerary takes us from Sevilla, Spain to Barcelona, Spain for the Sevilla April Fair. I'm here with our destination expert, Claudius Dosical. Hi, Claudius. Hello, Edie. So this itinerary begins in Sevilla, Spain. What do you suggest our guests see and do in Sevilla, Spain? Well, we have timed this itinerary to coincide with the famous uh, April Fair where the city of Sevilla and the whole region celebrates Andalusia. And that's the festival where you see a lot of the ladies uh, uh, walking around in the colorful costumes, horse carriages running uh, uh, through the streets. And the other thing is, uh, because of our small size, we are able to dock not only very, very close to the city center, less than a mile from the old town of uh, Sevilla, but our ship will also be located right across the river, a short 15 minute walk to the fair. So very, very well uh, located. It's a Sunday is the last day of the fair. It's a, it's a wonderful, busy day. And then that evening, uh, weather permitting, there will be some fireworks for our sailing. Wow, sounds amazing, or as amazing as I like to say. So from there, we're going to cruise up the Guadalquivir River. What do our guests get to see when we do that? We will be sailing through uh, the Andalusian farming countryside uh, where you will see a lot of olive trees, you will see wheat fields, and it's really sort of like the breadbasket of Spain. And from there, we continue on to Gibraltar, the rock. What do you suggest our guests see and do in Gibraltar? Because we spend the full day there, you might want to, uh, some of our guests might want to get in around the Gulf at the famous Valderrama course, which is a short drive from Gibraltar. And of course, you can do shopping or you can visit uh, the apes on the rock, go inside some of the caves. There's plenty to do to keep uh, our guests busy for the full day. From there we go to Matril, which is the port for Granada, Spain. What do you suggest our guests see and do in Granada? The port itself is a short, uh, oh, five, ten minute shuttle bus away from the town of Motril, which offers some shopping. But really the main reason we uh, uh, visit Motril is to allow our, our guests to spend a full day, not only to see the Alhambra, but also the town of Granada, which is very well worth visiting. And it is located only a one hour drive on a new highway, very, very scenic, uh, connecting the two cities of Motril and Granada. A great day to spend in this wonderful place of Spain. From there, we have an Oz Amazing at Sea Spa Day before we head to Valencia, Spain, one of my favorite cities in Spain. What a beautiful, beautiful beach town this is. What do you like to see and do in Valencia? Yeah, I think Valencia comes as a surprise to a lot of our clients because they don't really know what to expect. But it's a modern city, as you mentioned, it's located on a beach. It's a very sunny, live place. Um, and I, I would say probably the museum district is one of my favorite uh, uh, but I think you understand you have a famous place you like to shop. Well, the Yadra factory isn't bad there. Great, great Yadra pieces at a great price. So continuing on from Valencia, we round out this itinerary with an overnight in Barcelona before the cruise ends. What do you like to see and do in Barcelona? Um, again, we will be located very, very close to the city center and uh, our guests will have plenty of time to explore the city of Barcelona, maybe visit some of the uh, wonderful food markets there, which are just amazing to see. Um, but my personal favorite is, uh, if uh, one of our guests, if our guests have never seen it, is Montserrat Monastery. The, the drive out there is about one hour and then you take a little cable car up there and the views are stunning, the mountains are amazing and it takes about four or five hours to see but very worth seeing if somebody has been to Barcelona before. And of course, as you know, Edie, um, the Familia Sagra now is open for inside visits and if you have not seen the inside of it, it is absolutely stunning. And of course, for those watching who may not be familiar with what you're talking about, it's the Gaudi architecture, the church that has been being built for many, many years and many years to come because it's nowhere near completion. But it is an architectural wonder and really quite exquisite and unique. Well, whether you take this Oz Amazing itinerary or any of the other 60 countries around the world Ozamara Club Cruises cruises too, for sure, you'll love where we take you. Bon voyage.